Hi everyone, this is Anna Delopo and I'm talking specifically to acupuncturists today. We're going to go straight to it. So I'm looking for people who are hard workers, who don't count the hours at work, who have strong work ethics and don't make excuses. They have an unrelenting, they're relentless in their work ethic and their passion, their drive, their motivation wakes them up, not an alarm clock. They don't think about what time to wake up and they don't think about what time to go to sleep. I want people who really are determined to get from where they are to where they want to be and get through any challenges that get in the way and don't make any excuses. Uh, yesterday, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen that I posted a picture of a few books, including Eileen Hahn's The Power of the Points book. But I also posted a book from Napoleon Hill called The um, Law of Success in 16 Lessons. And I also posted a book called um, Relentless, Going from Good to Great to Unstoppable. And um, I also posted a picture of this book, which is Be Happy. So how do you get that balance? And um, I'll be teaching that this April 5 in San Francisco. It's four hours. I've got four days of training in my head at the top of my at, at the top of my head at any given time. So I want that room, standing room only, if I have it my way. And I want at the end of that four hour seminar to, for people to feel like that wasn't enough, that there was so much more that they can learn because it is absolutely true. There is so much more you can learn. I started practice in 1999. And um, I didn't make a profit for seven years. I was 26, year old, 26 years old, and uh, I was close to quitting several times. It was hard. I remember while I was in school, studying really hard at the cafes, I met three different people who saw what I was studying. They saw that I was um, studying Chinese medicine, and they said to me, oh, I went to Chinese medical school. I'm a licensed acupuncturist. And I said, where do you practice? They said, well, I don't practice you know, anymore. And they gave their excuses. And they said, well, I'm studying this now. And that was one of my biggest concerns was how is it during, um, I did six years and four years, during those four years of training, going to Chinese medical school, how was it that they were not um, practicing Chinese medicine? If they, it was so much work to go to Chinese medical school. And it's expensive. And I thought to myself, how could you, you know, how can you study, for example, if you were to become a surgeon or become a lawyer or become a nurse and say, you know what, I'm not going to do this. But I saw three people who were supposedly acupuncturists, but then they went into different fields. And it got me thinking like, wow, you know, and I didn't realize it until I graduated in 1998 and became licensed in 1999, starting out of my car, working at a, a couple of community medical clinics and also trying to build my own private practice. It was hard. And I think I had um, youth on my side and this um, dreamy attitude that I can make it one day. And right when I was so close to quitting, because I wasn't a full-time acupuncturist until um, way after 2006, I met Dr. Tan March 6, 2006. I became fully self-employed on January 24, 2007. So when the student was ready, the teacher appears. I met Dr. Tan at probably one of the most, um, one of the most dark hours. And uh, if not my darkest, because I was... I was about to quit. Um, and then when I met him, I saw a whole new light. I saw, oh, this is how you're supposed to practice. And he taught me specific things that now, today is March 31. Is today March 31? Um, 2019. I have a practice to show for what he taught me. And it wasn't just Dr. Tan who taught me. It was, um, I started learning how to brand myself by a VP of marketing a vice president of marketing. I learned a lot. Um, I started working with a graphics designer at that time and she taught me how to brand myself. Um, around 2006, 2007, we started my new website. Um, it was uh, the VP of marketing who created it, moveyourchi.com. So if you go to my website, elementsinharmony.net, you'll see that you know it also tells you to link there because there's tremendous information there. And then um, I also have been part of a success club since 2009 or 2011. I've been training since 2009 on a lot of marketing techniques. And um, I've been learning how to reprogram myself. That's a term that I use here in my practice. 
Um, if you go to my website, elementsinharmony.net, you'll see that both of my websites are heavily based on testimonials. My track record speaks for itself. At this point, I just tell people this is what I do. I do it because I'm, I know that I'm capable of doing it because for the last 21 years, I've been showing the world what I'm doing. But how did I get those patients here and how do I retain them so that they can graduate and either significantly improve or graduate from their ailments. Well, there's a technique in being able to convey that information to patients. If you go to my website, elementsinharmony.net, you'll notice that people say some common denominators. I love Anna. She listens to me. And I'm just not just, I'm not trying to brag about myself. I'm telling you what patients have said, how we've increased their white blood cell count, how we've graduated from their, their neck pain, how they no longer have type 2 diabetes because of a lot of different steps and acupuncture was part of it, how they healed from their, their cancer therapy um, in conjunction with um, allopathic medicine, how people with MS are able to live normal lives, how people with anxiety and depression no longer have the anxiety and the depression. And just, just go to elementsinharmony.net and look at my track record. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you can do it, it would have already been done in your marketing. I am really against excuses. There's this book that I've been studying for a long time since 2009 and and I can't get enough of it it's the magic of thinking big and if you go to chapter 2 if you don't do anything else for your marketing if you don't do anything else do yourself this favor and pay the 1495 for this book and go to cure yourself of excusitis the failure disease my daughter is turning 15 years old in May in about a month and since she was nine years old, she can hear an excuse. For the past uh, week and a half, I've been promoting um, my little focus group. I use that term lightly. This quote unquote focus group is basically I want to create the first 10 most powerful healers outside of whoever. Uh, there are a lot of powerful healers on the planet, but I want my first 10 students, my first 10 real students. And we started with our first two yesterday. Um, they get the cheapest price that I'm going to be at. My hourly rate is normally $250 an hour for consultation. And this little program is $300. You're saving $450. I'm putting my reputation on the line. For $300, you get three hours spaced out one hour apart, one month apart. So uh, yesterday I talked with a person in Hong Kong, and then I also talked to someone in um, Maryland. A month from now, we're going to follow up, and a month after that, we're going to follow up, and we're going to have quantifiable improvements. I'm not going to reveal who they are for privacy reasons, um, but I will just tell you that the first one that I talked to in Hong Kong, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I told her to do, but I've given her four action steps to increase her income uh, from, let's just say, number of patients. From right now, she's seeing 40 to 50 a week to get her to um, uh, 60 to 70 just for the first month. And then the second one, and then you can, you know, see how her re revenue increases. The goal is more than 60 to 70, is to get her to 150, I think, a week um, that she can emotionally and physically handle. And the other one is in Maryland. And right now she's seeing 25 patients a week. And the goal is to get her to 40, 50 a week that she can emotionally and physically handle. Your level of success is all dependent on what you define as success. There's no right way. The only wrong way is what's not working for you. If there's room to increase, to maximize capacity in your practice, there is room for improvement. Let me share with you something. The people that are coming this Friday want to learn. But there happen to be some people who don't need to learn from me. They're actually more senior than me. They're busier than me. They make more money than me. And it always astounds me that the people who are willing to learn are the people who already know so much. Because there's one thing that successful people know. You don't know what you don't know. Who are you willing to listen to? Well, 
if you're gonna listen to me, I'm gonna tell you a lot of things that Dr. Tan taught me directly. I'm also gonna teach you some things that I've been training in. I still get marketing training. I still get personal development training. Despite the fact that I have 218 plus Yelp reviews and a, a ton of testimonials. I just got this text today. I'm gonna to make a case study on this later. Um, but I'm gonna share with you exactly what this particular patient said. Her daughter is 10 years old and she came in in a wheelchair. The doctors don't know what's going on, why she can't put any, uh, why she couldn't put any weight on her legs, on her knees specifically. And um, it is a lot of work. It was a lot of work for her mom to bring her in and out of the car by herself, a 10 year old who's very strong um, to go into, you know, and out of a wheelchair. Um, I don't want to say dead weight, but basically not being able to lift, put any pressure on her feet whatsoever on, and, and not allow her knees to put any weight, bear any weight. So I treated her three times. And in those th three times, her mother, after the first treat, after the third treatment, she said, March 24, um, Adina is walking like nothing is wrong with her. I can barely believe it. Can acupuncture heal that fast? Yes. And... Um, she's coming in and I asked what the intention is for healing today she said first of all the doctors didn't know what was going on and the physical therapist said it would take six months to heal the this is what I received today the physical therapist said she was at 100% stability on Friday let me tell you the dates of this person and this is just three treatments but this is something that I do day in and day out this person came in, this young lady came in March 18, 1923. Let me tell you something. If you're seeing your patient once a week, they could not have gotten those results. Everyone knows in the world that I practice balance method. At least you should. If you follow me, I'm constantly saying balance method. I'm hashtagging balance method all the time. So if you're going to heal your patients once a week, you better give them realistic results. If they go under once a week, once a week, two more times a week. I'm going to ask you something. When it comes to your marketing for your practice, is it the website? Is having a website going to build your practice? Is it going to give you a bunch of people in your practice? Is having a brochure going to give you a bunch of patients in your practice? Is having a business card having a bunch of patients in your practice? They all help. They definitely help. Um, is joining the Chamber of Commerce going to give you a bunch of patients? That will help. Is having a red ribbon cutting going to give you a bun bunch of patients? That can definitely help. Um, it's not just all of those, and I've, I've done all of those. My red ribbon, I started practice in 1999, and my red ribbon company was 2007 with the South Coast, uh, South, um, it's been so long, South, uh, Southern California, um, South Orange County Chambers of Commerce. They're no longer in existence. It got to a point where I became so busy and as much as I want to join other chambers of commerce, I just can't go. This is my excuse. It's at 7 or 8 in the morning and I'm driving kids. My life has changed tremendously. If you do those meetings, you got to be able to be available. Right now, I've got an almost 15-year-old, an 8-year-old, and, and, and a 1-year-old. I'm the one who does all the driving. But if you have the opportunity, I was part of it for a couple of years, and I've done other types of networking, BMI, Le Tip, and, you know, all kinds of, you know, women's meetings. I did that when my kids, uh, my first one and then my first two were a little more of you know, ability for me to an uh, age where I had a little more independence. And I've done a ton of networking and I still do. I just can't do them in the morning. Um, but it's, it's, it's constantly looking at opportunities to make yourself improve. So let me go back to the training that I'm going to give, um, that I'm giving to these ladies and gentlemen around the world. When I say this is just limited to 10 people and so many people, I've, I have people who've signed up. But I'm not at 10 yet, and I'm not worried about it because, honestly, it's not affecting my practice. But when I hear people's excuses, um, that's just all it is to me, is excuses. If you could already have done the marketing the way I do it, you would have done it already. You wouldn't just now be thinking about it. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice in order to get what you want? 
Are you counting the hours? Are you counting the money? Every time you make a, you spend a dollar on marketing, that should be a minimum of $100 back, if not $1,000. So say, for example, the $300 that people are paying me for those three hours that they would normally pay $750, they should expect in return a minimum of $3,000, a minimum, and if not up to $30,000 or more. And if you plan on practicing for 10 more years, at least they should be making at least 30000 to 300000 just on the return on investment of what I share with them, just from those three hours. So like the class that is in San Francisco, I get so many messages, Facebook messages and text messages that they can't be there in San Francisco. And I understand I can't make it to every event every time. Um, they're, they just can't. The ones that I can go, I go. And I'm 100% there. Um, I'm present 100%. But that class in San Francisco that I want full, because this is a class that I don't want people taking just because you're going to get CEUs. It's only a four-hour class. I have at least four days to train people, at least four days of training to give people. That class, I want people to be done with that class and say, man, I need more. And not because you need the CEUs, because you realize that of all the Chinese medical classes you take, that that is the most important one because that's not the one that, that is the one that we're not, Maybe I'm wrong. I graduated in 1998. Maybe things have changed, but I didn't get that kind of training. And I've done the heavy lifting. I've done the heavy lifting for most of you. I've gone to so many marketing classes. I pay programs online. I subscribe to some of the best salespeople. I'm mentored by the best salesperson on the planet. And you know what? You can, I'll tell you why, but I'm not going to say it here. But I am being trained on how to promote myself because my practice matters. Why does my practice matter? Because there are so many people in Orange County and around the world. I have people who fly here to get treated by me and I want that. I give them, I have people in Nigeria that do Balance Method. I have people in Europe, all over Europe. I'm, if you follow me, I'm constantly referring to people. Um, if you go to the Ad Academy of Acupuncture, there's an acupuncture practitioner list. And I'm constantly telling these acupuncturists, if you do balance method and you're trained by Eileen Hahn, Dr. Eileen Hahn, you better be on that list. And it's come to my attention that some people don't want to pay to be on that list. Do you know who Dr. Eileen Hahn is? Do you know who she is? She, in my opinion, she's if not one of the best, if one, if not the best acupuncturist on the planet. You know why? Because the best acupuncturist on the planet died in 2015 and he taught everything to her. So why wouldn't you be on her list? Everything that I'm going to teach you in three hours, that I can possibly teach you in three hours, and you have the option to pay me at a significant discount for hours here and there that you want to pay me, that you want to talk, during those three months because there's a lot of training on the way. If you value time, if you value your time, you better value someone else's time. If you value money, your money, you better value someone else's money. The only time I've ever really learned, really, that's why college is not free, the only time I've ever really learned is when I've given energy in exchange. As an acupuncturist, you should understand that. You should truly understand that. I don't want to hear any excuses. If there's something that you really, really want and your goal is here, for example, to maximize your practice, to heal as many people, your job is to heal as many people as possible. Don't make any excuses. My hourly rate to talk with me is 250 an hour and that is going to go up. I know exactly what I want to be worth. I know exactly what I want to be worth and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get there. I'm willing to read whatever books this is just one of them. I'm willing to read whatever books I need to learn. Dr. Tan, uh, Dr. Eileen Hahn's book, and I have all of Dr. Tan's books. I refer to these over and over and over. These are just the books that I keep here in my office. I have a little private stash in my house. What am I willing to pay? I'm publishing. I'm uh, my book is going to be a workbook first, and then I'm going to publish it. I'm sending it to the printer tomorrow. I'm going to sell it for $75. And that may seem like, oh, you're going to look at a book like maybe how many pages is this? 224 pages. Mine might be like uh, between 100 to 150 pages, if not at least 80. And you might think, oh, $75 for a book. I don't need that. That $75 should equate to $75,000 minimum. 
in the course of at least three to 10 years. This year alone, if you buy that book and you practice what I teach in that book, it should bring you at least $7,500 this year. That is my goal from that book. I'm putting my heart and soul into that book. So you have to start thinking this way. When you spend $10 on a book, that should give you a minimum, a minimum of a thousand to ten thousand dollars. That's what my thinking process is. So when I'm with my mentor, when I'm with my you know other people who train me, when I'm with when I'm buying a book when I buy a program on how to be a better person so that I can vibrate at a very high level, I'm thinking, what is my return on investment? Nothing is ever really altruistic. I even told these two ladies who were really, really getting so much of our training yesterday, and I try to keep it to an hour, but honestly, I love to really get as much as possible into their brains so that it translates into their practice so that the moment they get off the phone with me, they make more money. The moment they get off the phone with me, they know exactly what to do, exactly how to make their videos, exactly what action steps to take. That's the key, the action steps. You can think it all day long, but unless it is actually translated and transferred into your practice, that's like learning this, you know, Five elements, Japanese meridian therapy, auricular acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine, balance method, just balance method alone. Eight magical, 12 magical, static balance, dynamic balance, system one, two, three, four, five, six, seasonal balance, of the Bagua, everything you're learning. How is it translating? And I know how it's translating because when I go on my phone and I'm looking at the forums, and if you're taking the time to say, does this system help with headaches? If you don't know, that means you didn't practice it. So Dr. Tan taught me this. I'm just gonna share one thing that Dr. Tan taught me. March 6, 2006 is when I met him. And I started becoming very close with him from that day forward because I realized I met my master. I remember him saying to me, Anna, if you want to master balance method, you take one system in this and you just do that for six weeks. You know what I still do? I take Dr. Eileen's Han classes and the last time I took a class was two Sundays ago, two weeks ago, today, two weeks ago, and I took some notes and let's just say I rewrote some notes this means nothing to most of you, but if you're in balance method, you know what this means. This is the 12 magical and the different things that you can do with it. I'm going to take just this example, okay? Just this. This is kind of just this. And I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to try it 60% of the time for six weeks to six months. Um, once I really understand that, the class I took was the fundamentals, um, uh, the core foundation track, CFT, what Dr. Eileen Hahn and Dr. Tan called CFT. And I remember a year ago, I believe, I was in another CFT class and a student said, you've been in practice for so long, why do you keep taking this class? Like I'm in that class at least once a year, if not every other year. Um, I had a, I'm 45 and I had a baby 17 months ago, so I kind of like had to take a break for at least a, you know six months to a year. But every year I'm taking um, definitely a bunch of balance method classes. But you'll see me in those core foundation track classes. And something that I learned in uh, my success group is that you have to master the basics. You just have to. Any sport you're gonna see them practicing. You know, before any, I was I watched an, an NBA game last year. It was, I believe, um, uh, it was one of the LA teams. And um, when we were watching them, I saw what they were doing to prepare, and it was just basic stuff. They weren't trying all these three pointers. They were just doing layups over and over and over, just practicing, just getting warmed up. Um, last week was a big Pan Ams uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament in um, UC Irvine at the Bren and a few of my friends competed. We went um, Saturday and Sunday. Well, I went by myself on Sunday 
and my friends competed on Sunday and one of my coaches competed and Saturday when I sat there with my husband and he's a brown belt and keep in mind if you have a life it takes about 10 to 15 years to get a black belt if not longer um, I'm definitely on the longer route and uh, you know like the woman that I watched uh, my friend Kristen she got her black belt in nine years and she was on the quote-unquote fast track she was training you know she trains almost every day when she doesn't train she's just like um, not happy so when my husband and I were watching I remember I thought about it that the whole day and I told him around 11 p.m. at night I said everyone who competed and won all the competitors and all the winners won with basic moves basic moves because they have mastered the basics so that's something that I'm going to be definitely delving into is being relentless with knowing your basics and that's not just Chinese medicine when I teach the class on Friday it's not going to be I'm teaching balance method I'm teaching you some really profound fundamental concepts they have to be concepts and some specific action steps in order to make in your class in in your practice because my goal for you is to make money the next day if you're making 500 a day you need to I want you to get 600 a day if you're making a thousand a day I want you to make 11 1200 a day so if you're making a hundred a day I want you to make two to three hundred a day there are specific things in your attitude that you have to have in your action steps and how you work on yourself I read a bunch of marketing books marketing books and personal development books are not usually separate you have to understand your own psychology if you're being honest with yourself you are being very clear where your deficiencies are and so um, that's as much as I want to share about that I talked about the website I talked about the red ribbon um, and I do want to say things about the website a friend of mine he um, said I'm gonna take your class on Friday I believe he said that um, and he's I he said I got rid of my website and a month ago and I'm going to address that because this is the day and age you know you don't have a web, have to have a website I'm not gonna tell you to have a website I'm not gonna tell you anything that you don't want to do if you don't want to lower your prices so people can come in more frequently if you don't want to increase your prices so you can make more money if you don't want to have a brochure if you don't want to have a website if you don't want to have a Facebook page if you don't want to you know whatever you don't want to do I'm not gonna tell you what to do and what not to do I'm not gonna tell you to do something that you don't feel comfortable with but if the goal part of the goal is to make money I can tell you this I'm gonna share with you something that my husband who's in IT who makes it a point to follow trends he's the one who has really he's one of the people who helped me brand myself he's a very quiet person you'll barely see him in the picture you'll see him in this picture but um he's very low-key but he taught me this when I created elements in harmony at gmail.com which I don't check he said don't do that you need a website you need an email so I created Anna at moveyourchi.com this is when I created elements in harmony dot uh, when I went and created moveyourchi.com and elementsinharmony.com has been forever taken so I just finally got elementsinharmony.net but he said Anna you have to have a domain so my website's moveyourchi.com moveyourqi.com so I created Anna at moveyourchi.com that is my email address and he said when people see that you have a domain they see that you're serious when I and he said this if you, if I see that sound someone is Jane Smith acupuncturist at gmail.com now if that's your junk mail that's your junk mail but if that's your professional mail that tells many people including my husband not me because you can do whatever you want it's not gonna have an impact on my practice um, if anything it makes my practice look a little better because I'm more serious about it you know what I'm saying it's kinda like if the owner of Staples or you know I'm sure they have a board of directors but you know basically everyone here who's a prolific business person has a domain and so you have to have a website in order to have a domain so something to consider and when um, people say I don't have a website I don't have a Facebook page 
I just made a Facebook page for the business acumen for successful acupuncturists in about five minutes the other day. I already have my picture there. Um, it's a lion, a lioness, and it says the business acumen of successful acupuncturists. And I have the picture of Powerhouse Acupuncture Workshop in San Francisco, April 4, 5, 6, 7. I teach on April 5. Paul, Dr. Paul Wang is teaching April 4. Dr. Paul Wang is teaching after me. Um, I'm teaching 9 to 1. He's teaching 2 to 6. And then uh, Dr. Brad Wisnan is teaching Saturday and Sunday. Dr. Brad Wisnan, I, I said to him, we were on Facebook, and I said, you should be teaching my class because he's got a very, very busy practice in Washington. And he said, basically, that he's learned that the more he learns, the more he doesn't know. Very successful man, has had his own seminars for many years now, and that's his attitude. His attitude is true humility. He knows that what he, he knows enough to know that he doesn't know everything. And that's why people like me and Dr. Brad Wisnan and some of my friends who are going to be in my class, and that's just acupuncture. When I go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu seminars, there are black belts taking classes from black belts. Why? It's because they want to learn. They want to learn. There's this relentless drive to learn. Um, I want, the whole purpose is to maximize capacity in your practice. If your practice is fully booked and you're happy and you're seeing like 150, you know, 300 patients a week, you probably don't need me. But um, if, you, if you have room to maximize capacity in your practice, you might want to take my class because you might want, you'll, you might see that there's something I might teach you. I have done so much heavy lifting for you. I learned directly from Dr. Tan. I learned directly from the best salesperson on the planet. I learned directly from people who are tremendous marketers and great salespeople. I'm, if you can sit here and tell me that 50 to 100% of your day in your car is listening to personal development training, then you can probably outdo me. But my job every day, and no one's paying me to do this. This is on my own. My job is to outdo myself every day. What I do today as a business person, as an acupuncturist, has to be better than what I did yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. And keep in mind, I have a girl who's about to turn 15 in May. I have an eight-year-old who just got her belt promotion in jiu-jitsu yesterday. And I have a 17-month-old. Those are three different conversations. The teenager is a freshman, and we have a life she has her own life and we have to we have conversations and stuff she's doing she dances four hours a week which is a lot less than the 10 hours she was doing last year you know we have so much planning for her and then we have the eight-year-old hi there I'll be right out I have you at 940 yeah. so you can grab too. thank you All right, sorry for that little, someone came 10 minutes a little early, so I, I came here way early to the office, so I apologize for that little break. She came 10 minutes early, which is awesome because my patients know I like to run on time, so, um, you know, I didn't realize that I've been running for 32 minutes, but I want to get this. This is, this is the video that I want people to understand what I'm going to be talking about in the class. Well, I'm really not talking about everything that I'm going to be teaching in the class, but just kind of get a gist of the intensive training you're going to receive, both in San Francisco and also with me personally. I want to treat, teach you how I do, what I do to outdo myself. What I do in order to make this happen, to be at maximum capacity. What I do in order to raise my kids and and have the happiness factor, how to be happy, what I do to listen to audios and which audios and what books and why you have to keep doing this. It's not one thing in marketing. It's not the website. It's not the brochure. It's not just attending seminars. It's not just going to networking events. It's your attitude. And what I've seen, if I can show you what people's excuses are, you would realize that's probably a good makeup of our society, all the excuses. And that's why I'm compelled to make this video, because I don't want to hear any more excuses. If you want maximum capacity in your practice, let me ask you something. Muhammad Ali, did he give any excuses? Uh, Kobe Bryant, did he give any excuses? Uh, Michael Jordan, did he give any excuses? And um, I can go on and on and on. I treated five Olympians here. I treat NFL players. What kind of excuses do they give? That's the level 
of people that I want to work with. Not people who's going to make excuses, but people, maybe you do make excuses, but you're ready to make a change. I want people in here who have strong work ethics, who don't look at the time. Oh, what time do I have to be off work because I'm tired? I want people with tremendous energy or who, who want to have tremendous energy. People who see their goal, see where they're at and can be honest with where they're at and know that if I'm going to get there, I have to be someone else. I have to do different things. I have to read different books. I have to listen to different things in order to reprogram myself to get to that point. If you want your patients to go the extra mile in order to get what you want to accomplish for them, you need to go the extra mile. End of story. Um, talked about do whatever it takes. That's basically in my practice. If you go online, everything I share is online. If you go to my paperwork, it says a bunch of things. And one of the things it says is, is this, am I treating this just today? Like, is this just you giving me, you know, telling me to treat you, I only have today? Or can I fix this in five to 15 treatments? Or is this something that you want me to t take care of within one to three months? Or is this something that you want to do for a while and you're just here to relax? And the ones who heal the fastest are the ones who do this one, they write this one thing, whatever it takes. The people who come once, I'll tell them, I'll do my best to take care of it today, but more than likely, uh, I probably won't. By the time they get, they're done with the 30 minutes of paperwork, by the time they're done of 30 minutes of paperwork at home or 30 minutes before they're, they come in here, they realize that I mean business. And that's what I want you to have is this attitude that you mean business in order to significantly heal these people or graduate or have the gall to tell them, you know, the balls to tell them, I can't heal you and you need to see this person. Or in order to heal you, I can't see you once a week. I need to see you two to five times a week and have the ability to follow through what, what you say you're going to do. To think it is different than saying it and to say it and follow through with it is, are completely different action steps. You need to follow through. You need to follow through in studying Chinese medicine over and over and over and really understanding this book and other Dr. Tan, I'm talking to balanced method practitioners or whatever type of oriental medicine you practice. It's relentless. It's constantly studying. It's constantly understanding your Chinese herbs, your points, your theories. Same thing with getting patients in your practice. If you go to elementsinharmony.net and you look at some of my ongoing case studies, uh, preventing uh, kidney dialysis, um, getting people to have regular blood sugar, getting rid of neurological pain, um, getting rid of lifelong depression. This takes time and you need to be able to convey, but no one's going to take you seriously if you don't talk with confidence. I talked about earlier that if you could do it, it would already be done. Someone sent me a text saying, well, I can't do this right now because um, so-and-so wants me to you know, do these things instead. No one makes your decisions for you in your practice. You make your decisions for you in your practice. End of story. I am married. We've been married since October 5, 2002. I thrive because he lets me drive myself. He lets me make my own decisions. If it's your business, if you're the acupuncturist, you make your own decisions. End of story. I can get his opinion. His opinion does matter. And he knows that. But Andrew knows that the person at the end of the day, the person who's going to execute is me. No one makes the decisions for me. If you're a woman, you need to understand that. If you're a man, you definitely need to understand that. But especially if you're a woman, you really need to understand that. Your spouse does not make a decision for you. Your spouse does not make a decision for you. I'll say it one more time. Your spouse does not make a decision for you when it comes to your practice. That practice, Elements in Harmony, that's Anna DeLopo. They're paying for me. So at the end of the day, the person who's responsible if I fail is me. I'm not going to blame him if I fail. The person who's responsible if that succeeds is me. I can get training from my mentors. But at the end of the day, if I fail, it's not Dr. Tan's fault. It's not my mentor's fault. It's no one else's fault, it's, but it's mine. I have to make the decisions and I have to execute on the decisions and the actions. I have to take the action steps in order to get the results that I want. Does that make sense? I, I hope I really made that clear because when I read that, I was like, you know what? It hasn't happened because you haven't made the decision and you're not making the action steps to make it happen. And that's what I'm going to present and share with you over and over and over. That is a lioness on my advertisement for a reason because they are the apex predator. You put a lion with a human without a gun and they feel threatened, they will attack.
the human. You put a gun in the hands of a human, now the human is the apex predator. But without a gun, the lion is the apex predator. But more importantly, when male lions attack, it's brute force. And that works. But you know who's the strategy? The ones who have the strategy are the lionesses. And they have found, scientifically, in their brains, science has found that female lions, the lionesses, are able to plan, deceive, execute, they can distract, they have all these things going on in their brain that male lions are not capable of doing because they're not hardwired. You need to have strategy and marketing their strategy and being able to convey to patients their strategy. I have this thing that I share with all of my patients that is a secret to my success and I'm going to share this. It's called the accountability sheets. It's how to hold my work accountable. How are you with telling your patients how to hold your work accountable? How are you with that? How are you with telling your patients what to expect if they go under once a week, once a week or two more times a week? It's not just acupuncturists. I have patients who, are physical, who came from physical therapy, chiropractor. I had a patient that came the other day, saw their chiropractor, and I said, how, many, how much improvement did you get? He said, 30% with your chiropractor. Good. Did the chiropractor say how many more treatments you needed? No. They were just left hanging. And it's not just that chiropractor. It's acupuncturists. Everyone's doing it. Just keep doing it without no, without any game plan. You have to have a game plan. You have to have a game plan and you have to be able to follow through on that game plan. You have to guide them because they need healing. They need a healer who will guide them, who is a leader. Everyone's coming in now, so I need to make sure that I finish this up. <sighs> We're going to leave with one more concept. You need to constantly innovate yourself. Constantly. 21 years in the game, I'm still innovating myself. I don't need to teach this class. Folks, I have three kids. I have a husband. I got a house. I got two dogs. We're a family of seven. The picture's right there. You see it. I'm very busy here. I don't need to be in San Francisco. I don't need to teach anything. I don't need to write this book. But someone taught me a long time ago, someone very famous. He said, Anna, if you're as good as you say you are, it is your responsible. It is your responsibility to share what you learn. And Dr. Eileen Hahn asked me to teach this class. I've been teaching for free between 10, 15, 30, 45 minutes. Uh, one was about an hour in her class and um, since 2015. And I realized some of the stuff that is considered, that I consider to be common sense, isn't common sense to many people. Just like whatever you're good at, you might teach me some stuff and I realize, and you may think it's common sense, but it's not common sense to me. So I have to learn. I have to reprogram my brain. I have to be rewired. And that's what I do in my practice is rewire some of my patients so that they can heal from anxiety, heal from depression, heal from their neck pain, let go of the resistance that's holding them back in their lives, let go of their diarrhea, let go of the resentment and the stress and the anger. Same thing. If you want your patients to really follow what you say and you want them to invest in you, you better learn how to invest in yourself. So... Having said that, once I reach my 10 people, that rate is going up. The people that are making the commitment to really become one of the most powerful healers, and I'm willing to put my reputation on the line on their results, those are the people that you're going to realize, I wish I was one of those first 10 people. I'm going to offer it after that, but the rate's going up after that. So good luck to all of you. I hope to see you in San Francisco. Please don't send me any excuses why you can't make it. Tell me, just you can tell me that you want to be there and you'll be there another time. But this is, you know, just if you can make it, make it. If you can't make it, don't worry about it. All right. Have a great day.